Flying cars? Floating trains? What will the world look like in 100 years? Are you up for a mix of some of the coolest that the future has to offer? So here's futuristic machines you'll wish you owned. When you hear about the term electric car, do you picture one like this? If not, then it's time to start thinking outside the box. The Trezor was revealed at the 2016 Paris Motor Show. This work of art is composed of a carbon, weave bodywork that resembles snakeskin. The contrasting red windows and interior add to an aesthetic that lets you know that there's more to this than a typical sports car. There are no conventional doors, instead one has to raise the roof to access the two-seat cabin. The dashboard itself is a curved OLED display, with most of the vehicle's functions maintained via touchscreens on the steering wheel. The placement of the two batteries, one in the front and one in the back, help with weight distribution. The motor puts out 350 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque to take the Trezor from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 4 seconds. Renault has said that this will remain a concept only. The good news is that they plan to include some of the design elements in future vehicles. One can hope that it still looks this good when they do so. Powering up while you're parked is the de facto for charging electric cars. The downside is that charging stations take time and sometimes aren't free to use. But what if you could charge your car while driving? Qualcomm's Halo conceptualizes what the future of wireless charging may be. The technology is embedded in roadways and parking spots, making it possible to power up without a cable. It uses a high-powered resonant magnetic inductive energy transfer. The energy is delivered over an air gap to two pads located under the vehicle. But unlike other inductive charges, the units don't need to be touching or even close to one another. In fact, the charging unites multi-coil design will even charge the vehicle if the pads are misaligned. Qualcomm anticipates wireless electric charging to become standard on most production vehicles in the next two to three years. Considering I won't have to stop for gas, I should start planning my next road trip. The energy-efficient electric vehicle is called ZB. But unlike the Honeybee, it doesn't make a buzzing noise. Yeah, that was the corniest joke you'll hear. This entry by Swedish company Clean Motion first saw the light in 2010. It's made strictly for short-distance transportation, is weather protected, and can carry up to two passengers with luggage. The total weight of 600 pounds makes for a vehicle that is nimble, and agile in traffic, while the small size allows for a total of up to three in a single parking space. The electric motor can go up to 28 miles per hour. The battery can recharge in 20 minutes using the included rapid charger. Its estimated use is about 4 kilowatt hours of electricity per 62 miles with a total range of about 31 miles. This translates to about 7% of the energy that a normal gas-powered car would use. In my opinion, the ZB is one of many small pieces of the eco-friendly solution the world needs. The taxi service industry has been in a not-so-subtle revolution since its beginnings, with the horse and buggy, so it was only a matter of time before it left the ground to pursue loftier goals. A German company named Lilium has developed the world's first electric jet that employs a vertical takeoff and landing. They call it, drumroll please, the Lilium Jet. The jet consists of a rigid winged body with 12 flaps carrying three electric jet engines each. Depending on the flight mode, the flaps tilt to allow thrust while the necessary lift is provided by the wings. The expected range is 186 miles with a top speed of 186 miles per hour. Lilium hopes to use its jets to provide faster access when traveling within the city by employing a network of landing pads and central places for passenger transfer. For now, you'll have to keep hailing a cab as the company doesn't expect to go fully operational until 2025. The word Shaddai actually translates to the omnipotent. Considering the designer's main concept was extreme power, it seems that the name fits perfectly. This 492-foot-long behemoth has been called the most outrageous yacht in the world, and it hasn't even been built yet. Unfortunately, no details are really known at this time, as the layout will be dependent on the needs of the buyer. But what we do know is that the lower deck will be composed of a 2,700-square-foot beach club, complete with a pool and aquarium. There's also a starboard terrace that opens out of the side. Above that is the aft main deck, with an infinity pool that has a waterfall feeding the pool in the deck below. The master cabin is elevated 125 feet above the water. It has its own terrace with a bar, dining area and infinity pool. Although it won't be the largest or the most expensive at an estimated $250 million, it will offer the most unique view of the ocean available. If you ever wondered how cities like New York, Chicago, and LA were going to handle their traffic problems in the future, it's a safe assumption it would be like this. 
The Dahir in Saad Corporation has designed this futuristic concept of mass public transport in urban settings. It's called the Gyro Monorail, and it is exactly what it looks like, a self-balancing, dome-shaped cabin on two wheels. It would still have the option of extra wheels if needed as well as being height adjustable. Crowded streets wouldn't be an issue either as the monorail would run on lane separators that would work like tracks for a train. As you can see from the video, the uses could easily apply to more than just public transportation with emergency and medical personnel benefiting as well. Although it's still just a concept and might never see production, it's definitely one of more clever approaches to the traffic congestion facing some of the world's bigger cities. Unity Sweden recently paired with industrial giant Siemens to develop its first electric car. It was designed specifically for the city with high performance and agility in mind. The company claims to have the world's largest and most advanced interactive heads-up display in the windshield. In addition, the designers digitized almost all the interaction points to make the car as intuitive as possible. In keeping with the idea of sustainability, the body is made from the recyclable carbon fiber with an interior created from organic deposits. The car itself will be available in a 2, 4 or 5 seat model. The electric motor provides a top speed of up to 81 miles per hour. The auxiliary battery can be changed in about 10 minutes for a quick 20 mile trip with a main battery that can provide a range of up to 186 miles. Unity plans a delivery date of 2019, with prices ranging from $18,500 to $24,800. Instead, we're going to talk about Quantino 48 volt. This car runs on what is basically salt water, but let me clarify, it's still an all-electric car. The liquid is actually called bi-ion. It is put into a tank like conventional gasoline and the car processes it to power the batteries. The motor itself puts out 108 horsepower and 147 pound-feet of torque with a top speed of 122 miles per hour. The car averages about 28 miles per gallon. The tank will hold roughly 50 gallons, so you're looking at total distance of about 1,400 miles. The manufacturers are guaranteeing at least 50,000 operating hours from the technology. That equates to a theoretical distance of 1.55 million miles. Yeah, a sports car. All electric. Millions of miles. We though. 